comma die at Go. There we go. This loading screen feels like it's taking longer than usual. Oh yes, it's because we're on fire. I remember things now. Yes, we gotta level up. Um, do all that after we loot all the fucking body. What's on your? Whoop. Sorry, Prince. Oh. Tem looks about, then returns his eyes to you and gives you an imperious nod. With that out of the way, I'm sure you've prayers to submit and acquaintances to greet. My paladins will see to any further concerns. Goodbye now. Dallas went to the cathedral. She's after Lucian's tome. Tomb. Home. Tomb. Ah. Perhaps she thought to convince the keeper, Lord Ahu, to allow her entry. A foolish plan for more reasons than I can list. I wonder. Well, anyway, it looks like I will need to deal with the witch myself. It's been a long time coming. But please, take this as a token of the paladin's gratitude. You were invaluable once again. Yes, I was. Now leave us to do our work. Paladins! Sir. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh! I think we're gonna take nose cut. Keep looking. Take this place apart brick by brick if you must. Oh, 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 oh. 
handwriting on Raymond's private journal is so full of flourishes, whorls, and loops that it almost seems as if he wants to obfuscate like the so meaning of the text within. Much of it sounds half crazed, but some passages bear lucid details. Soon the grand design will be upon us. Soon it will be realized. The time of the white magic has come, the grandest design of all. We have a sacred duty to cleanse the world of the filth of source. Our Lucian guides us today as, I, as always. I would have relished coming down to the tomb of Lucian to see our final victory come to pass. But I am needed here, and I shall see that my sacred duty is fulfilled. Right, Let's see what I will see no one enter the tomb, and I will destroy all paper scrolls and mines that would reveal. Grand design, sacred duty, cleanse our... No one might. Night, Tarada! Uh, there we if a single scrap of parchment is raised oh. name on fucking rid of passage we got a long time ago. They must have left some evidence. Why else try to burn it? And I received my final report from agents and arcs. Our enemies are many, but my primary concerns are with the individuals that know how to access the like uh -huh. just toy making. A mistake, it's a huh? spear? Oh, fucking hell. Like Sanders, there's more talents than just toy making. Raymond, our efforts to follow the true teaching of Lucian have taken an unlikely turn. Hey, Sasha, how's it going? In order to save Revlon from the evils of Source, we must first seek the aid of history's most notorious sorcerer, Rakus Rex. The mad sorcerer king will be able to lead us to the Atiran, then we can purchase Source from whatever it looks, from wherever it looks in the world. Like, hydrate. Here you go. Captured Black Ring Necromancer named Tarquin has managed to raise Brax from his grave. Tarquin, what the fuck? As long as he remains controlled by my leash, we shall be able to use him to put our plans into motion. Once we have prevailed, we can dispose of both Brax and the Necromancer. Brax will remain at my side. I'll present him to others as Master Freedom. No fucking way! A mistake, huh? That mistake could make quite an ally. Brackus Rex is alive. And we've been in near vicinity to Brackus Rex for much of this game. <laughs> Terrifying. A mistake, huh? Overpower. Yeah. All right. So this is Huntsman, Hydrosophus, and Necromant. Ooh, but we lose one wit. I want to. That is so much. Ma I already have a thousand magic armor, though. I don't think I really need. I want to keep the wit. We're keeping. Search this place with a fine tooth comb. All right. Um. And then what's this one? Aridan's class. Hydrosophus and summoning. No, that one's not us. Huh. What do we upgrade? I think we keep going up with memory. The magisters weren't to lay a hand on the dwarves. And then we'll upgrade Necromancer again. Then here. Persuasion's maxed. Um, why not? Hmm. Nope. Nope. Range of skills and scrolls. That'd be like these. 
That might be useful. I want to. I don't want. I don't like the sound of that. The whites were pulling a lot of strings in arcs. I see. Hmm. Ooh. Ah, no, I think I think that's I think that's worth it. Find the blueprint for the building. I forgot we have a top hat. <laughs> Our character looks so dumb. Uh. All right, Bay. Oh, we have her finesse maxed out. Cool. All right, so that's a view. No. Um. Okay. We're going. All right, I think we're going to replace Strawberry Snitch, but. Yes. Manage rooms. They must have left some evidence. Why else try to burn it? Do not already have venomous. Doesn't. We'll do fire damage. And then, oh, I don't know if I want to really right, swap guys. out her armor. Let's see what you've been up to. Cause I love, I love her ability to fly. I don't want to lose that. A mistake, huh? That mistake could make quite an ally. Cause if I don't have the full set, then she doesn't get the wings. A mistake, huh? That mistake. And this. This could be useful to make up for her lack of armor here. But we have a amulet. Nope, not a good trade-off. Uh, also not a good trade-off. Alright, let's increase memory. Here, warfare, and then ooh. All right, sneaking. Dallas. Let's see what you've been up to. Um, nope, nope. Ooh, wait. It reduces cost of entering sneak bone by 1 AP. That technically means then... Where is it? Is there a thing that lets us go... This... Hmm. Looks like Sanders. There's more talents than just toy making. Oh, wait, no, that's not sneaking then. It doesn't count as sneaking. Where did it go? The magisters weren't to that doesn't count as sneaking. Okay. Heals you in standing in blood. I think I think we gotta put that on. Oh wait, no, she needs opportunist. She needs like opportunist. There's more talents than just toy making. Fucking fly, get out of here. Ooh, the neat motherfucking fly. Uh. Alright, Losa. Alright, let's see what's the difference here. More damage. But but same Ooh. Alright, Dallas. But bleeding and atrophy. But also fourteen percent lifesteal. I think I'm gonna keep mistake, huh? the divine staff there. Could make quite an 
Um, we're going to keep her current pantaloons. And I think we're going to swap the necklace. We'll put that. If a single scrap of parchment and ooh, on it, I want it brought here. This actually isn't that isn't a good trade off for Losa. Huh. Okay. All right. I think keep going. No, we need to increase her memory. Mistake, we need her huh? to be able to use more abilities. And then here, arrow thirge goes up. Here, telekinesis, I guess. And find the blueprints for the building. There may be hidden chambers. Thirty percent. That'd be big for Losa. What other things can I give her? Savage Sortilage. The beefy boy here. Looks like Saunders. Um, let's see. The Magisters weren't to I think I've got to give him this fucking spear. I think we give him the finesse. Yeah. I think I think he gets the finesse. You're playing with necrophire. Oh yeah. The magisters were to lay Because that's a plus one two handed. Ups the finesse. Still is strength based. More talents than just well, his attacks will still be strength. Just his basic attacks? No, they'll be warfare based. I don't know. And then, boop. Keep looking. Take this place apart. Brick ah. brick you All right, and then, yep, nope, not worth it. Nope. Ooh. Nah, but I like death. Keep her pantaloons. That. A mistake, huh? Is this better than a any of the other ones? Could make quite an ally. Get plus one pyro. Not really worth it. Aerodin's clasp is not that good of a ring, I guess, for any of our characters. Um, we have his warfare up. Pyro, we can keep that playing. Um, Persuasion. Don't really use magic. Dallas, you best be careful. You're playing with necrophire. The whites were pulling a lot I think we'll just do mnemonic. Alright, let's now... Looks like Sanders has more talents than just toy making. And all this loot for the prince. Mistake, huh? That mistake could make quite an ally. Organize the inventory a bit. Search this place with a fine tooth. 
Oh shit, I can do a lot of damage. We'll keep that around. Hmm. Looks like Sanders has more talents than just toy mate. Alright, now let's go to your skills here. Can put in three points. Huh. Alright. Don't really care. Let's see what you've been up to. Hmm. Dirty Eternity could be useful. And raise bone will. Fuck it. Bill. Phantom Knives. And... Gag him. <laughs> Losa! Losa, Losa, Losa. We need you to have Jason Vault. That's such a Another swap. We need that back in. And I think... Rain. Bring back Rain. The Prince. Shit off. Um... Looks like Saunders has more talents than just... What abilities? Let's see. Phoenix Dive I want back. Um. Ooh, battle stump. I miss. I miss that ability. That's a good ability. Uh, um. What else? You have peace of mind. Don't have a shield. Uh, we have two slots. So actually, I think we're gonna do fire slug. No, because he's not. He doesn't have high summoning. Points, so it's not really worth it. The dwarves, but I think we'll do pick of the fight. That could be the mistake, useful. Huh? That mistake could make quite an ally. Will you stop repeating the same shit? The magisters weren't to lay a hand on the dwarves, but you are no longer required here. <laughs> here? Now? This is hardly the time or the place. What do you know about Dallas? Who can truly know a diseased mind? She is rotten to the core. That I am sure of. Although much as I despise the creature, I have never known her to be a coward. She fought well in battles against the Black Ring. Wherever she's hiding, she will not go quietly. Be quick. I've other matters at hand. I am not a library book. Enjoy the city. Hmm. Oh, mistake, let, huh? Let's loot over here. I can get read. This one's in here. Uh... Rosebrand is for. Let's actually... We still need a craft. Let's search the lower floor here first before going up.
God, so many copies of his orders. In the intelligence brief. They're not doing a good job at keeping their stuff secret, are they? What else are they hiding? They must have left some evidence. Why else try to burn it? Mistake. That's what that's pretty mean. Call someone a mistake. Looks like Sanders. Only I can make that joke about myself. I'm funny. Dab. Dab on myself. Okay, go over to there. Okay, there's so much to fucking explore here. Take the skull. Take that. My memoirs. Remember as a kid we made water balloons from Tessa. That's gross. Jar of ew. No oh, thank you. Goddamn, 220 magic armor. Too bad it doesn't give any stat buffs. Don't care about shit that just gives me plain armor buff now. I need stats. What else are they hiding? Ooh, wait, that was new. I don't think I've read Warden's report. Ooh! Yeah. Well, at least my armor doesn't get wiped out in one turn anymore. Uh, so Bill's kind of does. Losa's physical armor does. Books and letters Red everywhere. Prince's actually might not. Mind maggot. Misty dust. Orc dust. Um, I did by the ring. Scoundrel and arrow third. Actually, that is an upgrade. And what was this book and skin graft polymorph? Wait, is that? Uh, oh, I need scoundrel. 
fast. Just... Alright. Actually, I'm gonna report my finding. See if... See if he wants to know about anything that I just fucking found. You are no longer required here. Now, be quick. Enjoy the city, won't you? You are no here. Who control them, chief? Be quick. Enjoy the city. Fuck does this lead? Ooh, wait there, chests. With nothing actually useful in them. Wow, sheets of paper. Amazing. Oh! This is where that led. Would you look at that? Oh wait, I need to go eat their source. I need to go eat these dead bodies. Hope y'all don't mind me uh, feasting. You must be careful. In case they do care, I'm gonna save. Okay, they don't care. Oh, Dallas, you best be careful. You want me to eat you? Yeah, keep walking. Like Sanders. There's more talents than just toy making. The Magisters work to make a hand on the dreams. Delicious. Have you ever tried uh, Source Vampirism, uh, Lord Linderkem? No. Should try it one of these days. Delicious. Immaculate. A mistake, huh? That mistake. Could make quite Can't wait to get out of this room so I can stop hearing the same dialogue over. And over. And over again. And then there was a free source puddle upstairs. Alright, how many fucking XP do we need? We need 2 million XP. For level 19. Fucking fuck. Mmm, finally some good fucking source. to change his mind mid-execution. I just hope he made the right call. I'm glad this one was let off the hook. And... Well, hello again. Welcome to my very, very humble abode. I heard Cam accuse you of treason. Give me your side of the story. Yes, I heard it too. The man has some curious ideas about what constitutes treason. I refuse to raise a hand against fellow members of the Divine Order. Refuse to buy into Kem's lie that they're all black ring puppets. city seems to be tearing itself apart. What's going on? It's not just the city. The Divine Order is coming undone at the seams. There's never been much love lost between the Paladins and the Magisters, but this... Brawling in the streets... 
It will be the end of us all. Why is the Divine Order so divided? Too many paladins from noble families, and too many magisters that started as working folk. Of course, the paladins were the first recruits of Lucian. So, many saw the magisters rising through the ranks as a threat to their order. Pig farmers leading lords, they said. But now that some white magisters have been found colluding with the Black Ring, now that Kim has his excuse, it's war. You don't seem to be a fan of Kemp. What do you know about him? Kemp's always been a hard man. His steel was forged in the war with the Black Ring. But recently there's something else. Oh. He's turned cold. Not cruel, exactly, just harsh. Dispassionate to a fool. Maceo, thank you for the follow. They say it's the Void Woken. That he's too worried about Rivalon to worry about people. Maybe that's it. Or maybe years of fighting finally broke him. Your guess is as good as mine. Although, I've heard whispers. There are places in Kem's mansion that nobody goes but him. One has to wonder what he gets up to. Mm -hmm. I'll see you again, I hope. The company in here lacks a certain charm. Okay. Suspicious, Mr. Kem. Waste of time. Piss off, paladin scum. I'm looking for white magisters. Why are there none in the barracks? I'm telling you nothing. My brother Delarus will hear about this, and then there'll be trouble. Delarus looks after his own. Oh no! Oh, this is awkward. Deller, your but your your brother. Um, I may or may not have gotten him killed. You have no reason to break the rights. They do not look after their own. That much at least is apparent. <laughs> mm, all right, we have. Whoopsies. So, the Whites have a vault hidden below the barracks. I suspect the entrance is to be found in a storeroom in the basement. Is this the just the information we already found out? We'll find it easy enough. I think it is. But be careful. One of them looks yeah. much like Yeah, it's the information we already fucking know. You may have heard of him. The whites are in their hidden vault. You betray your room, you traitor. Yo! She glares at you. Fist. Well. Now take his loot. <laughs> there's gotta be. Yeah, there's a blocked grating. There's some. Who are you? Did Lord Kem send you about the missing prisoners? Missing prisoners? Where could they have gone? That, that is the ever elusive mystery. These weren't escape artists. They were thieves and drunkards, imbeciles and liars, heretics and fools. The crudest of the crude turned from slugs to smoke. Oof. Hardly. The jailer's records are clear. 564 men and women were signed in and never signed out again. I'd say this was an oversight in record keeping, but I know some of those names. And they are nowhere to be found. According to this, 564 prisoners are. Tell Lord Kem that we were. That hard and. Th hmm. I think that means we gotta go into there where the blacked grating is. There's some there's stuff in there. This 
ways off limits. Why is that? Stay back. It's for your own good. Who or what is behind it? Hmm. Found the undead freak here already chained up by the magisters. They say she's a witch. I say. Her voice freezes into a harsh whisper. I say she's a demon. What makes her so dangerous? Creatures like this Windigo. They mask themselves, spread their black magic to children with their songs and stories. I remember her! <laughs> Our little ones, tools of demons. I've encountered this Windigo. It was not a pleasant event. Do you know this... this trickster? I've wandered the land high and low, asking after her. I come bearing word of her vital weakness. Oh, well, go on then. Probably doesn't matter who breaks her, so long as she gets broken. Just keep your head on straight. She'll try to make nice. Creep into your thoughts. Keep her out of there, all right? Well, let's save before going down to this crazy bitch. She cradles her head in her hands, then pivots towards the prisoner. Her mouth opens, yet nothing spills forth. No sermon, no screed, no threat. She turns back to you and grimaces. Too late. The spark's been snuffed. I trust you come bearing gold or godhood for me to have interrupted such a sensitive interrogation. What is her crime? What led to this freak's imprisonment is a mystery as unsolved as the void itself. We found her already caged, cursing the magisters with hexes vulgar enough to turn even a dwarf's cheeks red. The evil is strong in her. Her words are soaked in it. They squirm into your mind, planting warm memories you've never had, mesmerizing you with candy-sweet sights and scents. Visions of Windigo's attack on the vessel sailing to Fort Joy fill your head. You look to the cell, and your memories contort and coil. Windigo cradles you in her arms, stroking your head as the waves crash around you. I'm sorry, Buttercup. I was bewitched by his promise. Forgive me. You shake your head and the vision is gone. Your eyes rest not on the prisoner, but on the paladin. Hmm. Kill Windigo if she's so dangerous. No, we're at war. Kem may not say it, but he knows it. We all do. This black witch, what she knows about the Magisters, the Void, Dallas, even if I had the means to slay her, her corpse is of no use to us. Her knowledge, her power, they could mean everything. I'd like to take over this interrogation. You underestimate have me stand idle as she raises arcs to the ground in that moment you hear music a lullaby you glance at the cage windigo stands silent you squint and shiver until the melody no longer echoes in your ears hmm i have faced this woman before and failed in my time it is now time to right that wrong i i understand Perhaps you are as dangerous to her as she is to us. There can be no success without risk. I will give you the space you need, then. May Lucian be your guide. Things are under control, for now. You step up to the cell to look at the skeleton you know to be Wendigo. The barrier mutes her source, but it isn't her source you fear, but something more, a shadow. She says nothing, but you still hear her words. An unexpected pleasure for both of us, I'm sure. She looks to the nearby device, and an urge engulfs you, an urge to power down the device to release Windigo from her cell.
As long as I want you locked up, uh, confront. Her mouth remains closed, yet her voice settles in your mind like a damp fog. There are others, his chosen, yet I am no longer among them. They seek what you seek, the hammer. I am ready to share what I know. The God King rejoices as long as I am chained. Free me, and we might hobble him. The voice is gone. Windigo is still. No more lies, God Woken. No more treachery, no more death, no more betrayal. You can be free of me, and I can be free of him. Dropping the barrier requires a sacrifice. It won't be for naught. Why do you think you deserve release? I can no longer abide by the God King's will. He would scour me clean and suck me dry of all that was ever mine. I will never be among his chosen. But I know the one still basking in his favor. Free me, and you too will know them. Hmm. There is nothing else. And let's read the journal up here. Hmm. Book didn't help us. Break my bond. I'll help you in return. Dropping the barrier requires a sacrifice. It was her lips go. Let us. Help me. Dropping the then free your source that you might free me in turn. It won't be for naught. You reach your hand towards the device, and your inner source is stifled, as if you'd never rid yourself of that cursed collar. After a bit of tinkering, the machine whines pitifully, and the shield surrounding the cell flickers off. She steps forward, slowly, but confidently. She holds out her hands, bony palms up. They emit no fire, no ice, no curse. The God King no longer grants me his favor. Mask ripped from me and flesh flayed to bone, because the God Woken still walks Rivalon. Now he's chosen another. I should hate you for what you've done to me. Hate you for the hell I've lived. But I hate him. So, so much more. He loved me when I was useful. He cast me out when you failed to die. Go to the new Chosen. See that he suffers. See that the God King suffers. In your name and in mine. Who is this other Chosen you've mentioned? Linda Kim. No fucking way. The God King's current beloved. No more skin in his real bones than on a peeled jackfruit. And it is not only his ear the God King wishes no. to do. The dwarf called Isbeth. No. She bends to the king's every whim. No. If you want to get to the God King, you go through Linda Kem. You topple his tower of lies. As must I. I'm going to Kem. Or rather his estate. There's a Swarmbreaker scroll there. It'll free me from the Covenant. This creature, this monster, would have seen us drowned at sea. Kill her. If the God King has truly abandoned her, then this is our chance to slay her once and for all. She's done nothing to earn my trust. Windigo has done nothing before to earn my trust. This changes nothing. And so it is. I will break the contract. God woken. If not Yeah, yeah, yeah. You deserve this death, bitch. You told me what I needed to know. 
Perhaps I should have questioned her a bit more, but meh. I wanted to see if I could get Ryan to question her. <laughs> but I messed that up, so. Oops. Okay, so cheap, cheap source points. New way to gain source. Windigo spirit quakes. She is no longer the arrogant banshee that summoned a kraken and brought down a magister vessel, but a fearful child bracing for parental punishment. He's close, so close. Can't you feel him, God Woken? The king approaches. Yes, the God King does indeed approach. A moment of silence passes, and then Windigo's scream splits the air. He's tearing away my soul, God Woken. Cast me to the void if you must, but do not let him take me. Deny the God King. Windigo's spirit flutters and writhes. Your skull squeezes tight, and your throat burns with fire, but the substance of her being is nearly yours. This is not your dominion. Your head shrieks as if split in two by the God King's umbrage, but you have overcome. Windigo's source funnels into you in steady gushes as you sling her spirit into the void. You have no power here, God King. I... I'm the God King now. Or I will be. For I like having power. Power is quite fun. Alright. Go ahead, but be Go on. Nothing in the chest? Are you shitting my- At least they have fashionable boot- fashionable boots. Actually, I'll take the piece of mind scroll. Really, fucking nothing in this- Wait, got a chest right up there. What the fuck are you doing? It's right in here. Fine, I'll just... You wanna be dumb about it, game? Lord Kem, that we won't let. Lord Kem, ugh. The cells are empty. Where are the prisoners? Oops. 
Nothing happening in here. Like nothing I can interact with here. Okay. Which is we there's gotta be something up in here. Sewer beneath prison. The statue reaches the bottom. Uh -oh. That leads. Karen. Oh, this is not. Oh, it's level 19. Mysterious door. Oh! I should have paid closer attention. Um, that's spooky as fuck. He's, he's just a child. Looks it, yes. But I sense something more. Something sinister. I wouldn't do anything wrong, mister. You've got to believe me. Let me out, please. I'm not a mistake. Mistake? Are you the one I've heard of, the fallen guard woken? The boy shakes his head in denial. Then beams like the summer sun. You see yourself in him from a simpler time when the future looked bright and endless. You're so cool. I bet you've been everywhere. Can you tell me a story? At the time I met a dragon. Really? Oh, maybe someday I can meet a dragon too. The child's glee quickly turns to sorrow. Tears come in great, shimmering droplets. Can't you let me out? The Magisters put this collar on me because I can make fire with my fingers. Then they just left me here. They're so mean. Hmm. Why did the Magisters have a little boy like you locked up in the first place? I've been asked. 
asking myself the same question. They said I did some really bad things, but I'd never do anything wrong. Never, ever. Oh, please let me out. I don't believe the fucking kid, but I want to let him out so I can kill him. <laughs> God, he has 2,531. Ugh. How can I open your cage? I'm not sure. It's got something to do with I'm not sure. It's got something to do with the praise you says all I know. You gotta just like them all. He gives you a look that is at once hopeful and hopeless. One last tear slides down his impossibly pink cheek. A hungry kitten couldn't look more plaintive. Hmm. Can't you help me? We'll come back. Can't you help me? I don't trust the. This is definitely a fight room. Please. We definitely get like ambushed in here or something when we let them out. And so Laura wants to go over here. Gold being dropped out here. Look out, I see a trap nearby. Yeah, that's obviously a fucking trap. Kind of a trick. Good thing it didn't work. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. No, you didn't, bitch. I don't, I think it was a trap triggering. The teddy bear is a trap. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so that leads me down somewhere. Back to the fucking kid that's obviously gonna try and kill us. We're level 18. I think we should be able to handle him. I also need to check out that suit pipe thing. Agent Frozenheart. That's a unique name. Person. Oh, he's gonna resurrect them all. That's what's gonna happen here. Ooh. Come on, you gotta let me out of here. What unseen wind douses the flames? Please, I'm so cold. 
The fire has dwindled. The fire has dwindled. The flames are just they live. Vexing magic indeed. The flames just what won't stay lit. Wind fire has dwindled. Unseen wind douses the flames. Indeed. Can't you help me? The fire me? has dwindled. A vexing magic indeed. Snuffed out in the blink of an the eye. The flames have faded. Snuffed out in the blink of an eye. Lit. A vexing magic indeed. The flames have faded. The fire there has must dwindled. be a trick to keeping them lit. The flames have faded. There must be the a trick fire has to dwindled. keeping them lit. A vexing magic indeed. Magic indeed. The fire snuffed out dwindled. in the blink of an eye. A vexing magic indeed. I didn't do nothing wrong, I swear. I can get four. Oh, wait. I can just hurl a fireball. But you just couldn't resist those great big wolves. <laughs> We're fucking dead. <laughs> could you? Weak. But then, Siva's standards were always uneven. Looking at me, then looking at you, that hasn't changed. Oh, <laughs> 5,000 help. And he's going to summon allies. Hmm. Who are you? Oh, but they called me by so many different names. First sorcerer, then god. <laughs> we are in danger. Dangling another one in front of me. Divine. You do know how it is. Hmm? You want it bad, don't you? You're chasing this thing, this label. Maybe you're trying to save the world. <laughs> Maybe you're just doing it because they tell you to. No, I do it because of the power of friendship. They told me I could rise. I could be the next divine. I fell for it. Well, who wouldn't, eh? I saw the light. But not in the way they'd expected. I heard the voice. Lucian himself. He gave me the truth. He told me to carry it. He made me real. And he showed me Ahu and the Seekers. He showed me that they're traitors. They have him captive, you know? Oh, yes. He's alive, but he's imprisoned. He has instructed me to free him from his enemies. The Seekers doubted me. Lucian told me to express myself, so I did. I showed those Seekers exactly what I could do. Seekers might be faithful, but they sure as hell aren't smart. The last time they tried to stop me from expressing myself, I killed a dozen of them stone dead. Why did you seek divinity if Luzian is alive to be saved? Well, who wouldn't? Charon the Divine said the Seeker. Oh, you're one of those people. Charon. Charon. Karen. And the power. I wanted it. I gods damned craved it. And the Seekers delivered it on a silver platter. Gareth couldn't wait to show me off to the Order, you idiot. He looks underneath him, to the rune etched into the floor, and the candles placed at its points. But that was just my ego. That wasn't really me. This is me. Saving Lucian for the world is my true calling. That and killing Seekers. Same thing, really. What, I don't understand. Why would you kill Seekers? Because they're traitors. Yes, the Seekers are traitors. Ahu is a traitor. That whole finder... Would not want to talk to the manager, king. said Charon. lies. And how do I know that? Lucian told me. He's alive. He's being, He's being tricked being by someone. By traitors, Seekers, and Ahu too. But you and I, we can save him. Join me, and we'll save the Divine together. Why didn't the Seekers level with you about that? Shame is powerful. Shame destroys authority. 
I am their mistake. If they were to tell the truth about me, they'd lose their authority. And rightly so, if you ask me. I'll kill them for that, if for nothing else. Where can Lucian be found? I can do that. I know where Lucian is. But it's not quite as simple as that. Ahu and the Seekers have Lucian imprisoned beneath the tomb. They tap into his source and use it for themselves. I know how to access his cell. I can show you the way once we pass the path of blood. Together we can do this. Together we can save Lucian. Together we are the truth. What do you say? He's dangerous. We should kill him. We can always use an ally. A sane ally is better, of course, but his information could be extremely useful. We need to put him out of his misery and move on. He's not all there. We need to put him out of his misery and move on. A razor grin unfolds upon his lips. You're mad! I can't let your madness threaten the great divine! I don't believe Lucine is still alive. Put you down. It's my duty to kill you. It's also my pleasure. Enjoy a bit of drop, don't you? Oh no. How much damage will this do? <laughs> oh, he gets. Okay, we're not ready. <laughs> we're not ready. Nope. Karen is too strong for us. We're not ready. Because we need some, I mean, Sabil. Oh my God. Because we need like Sabil alive. I mean, we do have the ability that, like, she doesn't really die, die, but he at least gets resurrected once, but I don't want to. I don't want to use the idol of rebirth on the first first fucking turn. So let's see, blast for Jane here and cleanse wound. Doesn't remove infested.
Hmm. Missed. <laughs> Dude just got walking until he died. Alright, I can't change. Um, boom. Close enough it is now got that. Just go up here, Losa. Of course, of course. Why are you missing? Is it because of the infest? Paying now, fuck. Get fucked, bitch. Uh-huh. 
They got death fog in them? Squeeze me? I don't... Uh -huh. Not good. Oh, wait, are those the ones that infest our bodies? Oh. Um. I don't have a teleportation. Bro. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Well, I can't kill. Can I reach any of them? Nope. Enter. Oh, motherfucking bitch. Oh, now he's going into the... It could have gone way better. Now we just wait for the death fog to go away. God damn, that was rough. <laughs> yeah, that would have sucked. That would have really fucking sucked. Um.
I don't like that there's just dangling death fog right there. I don't trust that. Okay, apparently I think it's just a visual glitch. Let's see. Oh no. Why are we lagging so much? I don't understand. Is of all the water that's flowing here? Royal Dwarven Shield? I'll take that. Sounds expensive. Sounds like we could sell it. I can hear voices. But I can't make them out. Holy fuck! Oh! <laughs> I think I need it. <laughs> I think I need it. A thousand armor just from a shield? That's a good ass shield. Yeah, dang it. Thank you. Can any of them make up? I can hear voices, but I can't make them out. I was sure I saw torchlight down there. But I was sure I saw torchlight down there. Oh shit! What's this? I found something. Weird, nothing. Not even like special of a dagger. Bound and blindfold, you are dragged through the darkness. The stench tells you you're in the sewers. Your dwarven captors are silent, but then a skittering, as of blades tapping on stone. Your captors stop, unsure. Screams rend the darkness. Silence falls, and then that sound again. Sticks dancing on stone. You tear the blindfold free, then wish you hadn't. The giant spider looms over you. Its jaws close upon your face. Hmm. Royal Dwarven Act. Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Go up. Warfare Hydros summoning. Oh. Wait. Warfare, though. Nope. Not work. What in this place is causing this lag? It's gotta be the running water. Whoa! Um. All right. Seems I'm not wanted here. I can hear voices, but I can't make them out. 
Crates of death for. How did they get here? Oh shit, that's a good act. Forty four and two nineteen. Hmm. Take the plus one telekinesis. Talk to the rat. Circus, what do you mean? Eight-legged mummies, crate dwarves, lousy children. What else would you call it? I'm curious about the eight-legged mummies. Spiders as big as your head. No, bigger. And they'll grow a baby inside you if you're not very, very, very careful. Tell me about the crate dwarves. What's to tell? A noisy gang of dwarves dragged an excessively large gang of crates in, and neither one ever left. I've never heard of lousy children. Sneaky, oily, lousy kids dip in and out of here all the time. I ought to set out traps, see what I catch. Okay, didn't really. That didn't help me with anything, any information at all. Now this is not pleasant. Why would you guys follow? You know, I think that was my fault. Where's her? our pyramid where do I put my pyramid ah where is it fuck it Did I end up killing the rat? Oops. Hmm.
No clue what that did. This is just <laughs> gameplay of me not knowing what the fuck's going on. Well, let's not go there quite yet. Again, I could have done that a bit smoother. I keep forgetting to break up the party beforehand. Okay, that deals with that. There's enough death folk. I've spotted something. We're in the right place by the looks of that mechanism. We just need the right brick to fill it in. I need to find a brick. Huh? Where the fuck do I find a brick? Or the right brick? I... Back in here? Where I triggered everything? I didn't see any bricks on the floor. I have no clue.
Hmm. Maybe there's something... Has to be the spot. Nope, it's not. Fuck. Where am I supposed to go? Where do I find this brick? Huh. <sighs> Probably not. Is it titled Sewer Key? I do not have a sewer key. Is that what I need for it? Must I have a sewer key? Uh, well, let's head back here. Ooh, wait, are they on the skeleton? Ow. No, this is a predicament. Get the fuck out! Y'all are gonna die! Hurry! Run, you dumb fucks! Oh, I can lockpick it, apparently? Shit. Would have been good to know before I ran all the way over here. Run back! Why would they say you need like a brick to fit in there if it's not really a brick? Like, don't tell me one thing when you actually mean a different thing. That's a little funky. Because I will take things literally. I'm stupid. A guard rushes in front of me. And before you can flinch, the point of a sharp spear draws a bead of blood from the artery in your neck. Halt! State your name! Now! Oh, for goodness sake, woman, lower your spear. That is no way to greet a guest. Ah! Is Beale. I've not known you to be so Level 20! welcoming to strangers. I shouldn't have gone here! Have I yet to disappoint your highness in matters of security? Your majesty? Do as she says. Lower your spear. Yes. Of course, my queen. Am I going to die? Your highness, bloom of Duna. Flame of the Forge, I present to you the Seed of Divinity. That's me. Queen Justinia sucks in her cheeks, then offers you her unwavering hand. Um. Um. Wrong room. Sorry, everybody. 
Yeah. Um. I have an auto save, I think. Before. Stewart, this is an unusual place for royalty to be holding court. The woman called Isbel glares at you with stony face and obdurate eyes. Hey, you're the one that picked this place. You are in the presence of a royalty. Her Highness is due proper respect from subject and admirer alike. Let's not intimidate our guest further, Isbel. I am yet too intrigued to give him leave. Why do you allow this man before me? My queen, the human specimen before you is a god woken, a claimant to the divine throne. The queen wrinkles her face and gives Isbael a sideways glance. Isbael's red brown eyes meet her gaze head on. Many have laid claim to Lucian's legacy, including his own inferior spawn. I presume our visitor has more than a vague title to boast of. I'm indeed Godwoken and Lohar has spilled your evil secret. I feel like I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I feel like that's not a thing I should say. And present company. How do you know so much about me? I am consort to Her Royal Highness Justinia. It is my business to know who serves the Queen's allies and abets her enemies. You do not roam this land unnoticed. The fear of saying something, yeah. I would get my ass handed to me so fast. Now, let us continue. Go ahead. Isbel clears her throat and continues her litany. The God Woken has proven himself a worthy combatant in the joys arena of the One. His name was on the lips of all who roamed there. I appreciate the effort in gaining the respect of one's fellow refugees. You have my attention, God Woken, if not my adulation. Continue the introductions. Island prison to which the order confined him, a feat deserving a modicum of respect. Yes. A refugee from the joy, then. Impressive. Few avoid the magister's watchful eyes. Can this god woken declare other triumphs, Isbe? Share the details of my escape. The specter of Bracchus Rex loomed heavily. Yeah. The mad sorcerer tainted both his time and ours. His stench is not easily rinsed away. But it seems to me that Void Woken and Shriekers were a more present danger. Yes? Let her continue. Isbail speaks once again on your rousing achievements. The God Woken arrogated the Lady Vengeance, the very vessel that terrorized the high seas under the Hammer's command. The Queen's eyes grow wide. And she nods appreciatively, then looks to Isbel to continue the ovation. Many seekers were lost that day. They cannot be forgotten. It is good and right that you mourn the dead, God Woken. But do not let your sorrow linger. Many a good warrior has buried his courage along with the dead. Look ahead, not behind. Wait for her next example. I enjoy hearing of my own exploits. His triumphs as champion of Driftwood are known to all dwarves of Reaper's Coast. His title is not effortlessly earned. Actually, it wasn't that hard of a fight, if I'm remembering right. What was harder was when the Voidwoken showed up at the end. Yes, it seems you've proven yourself familiar with sword and source. The raucous one would not assign the honor of champion lightly. Most of my performance in Driftwood's arena, not even a Voidwoken could defeat me. Yes. Word of the great champion has already reached my ears, courtesy of Barston Tongues, the esteemed bard. Now, Isby, is there more you wish to share? Take joy of hearing of my past victories. The God Woken has slain his very own. Alexander, you heard of that? Son of the Oops. late divine <laughs> has fallen to his superior might. Indeed, slayed by your hand. 
The cub once pleaded with me to aid in his sorcerer pogrom. I cannot deplore your actions, as loath as I am to admit it. I have shed as few tears as you. His death was long deserved. The queen smiles her approval and looks to her advisor. Keep, keep talking about me. The great sorcerer Riker, a lone wolf known for his manipulation. Oh shit! Are they gonna talk about every fucking sorcerer I ended up killing? I do not know of this Riker. I trust his death was well deserved. Yes, Riker had little respect for fallen souls. Basic decency is none too common in modern Rivalon, though I needn't tell you this. Still. A shame that such a capable man would pursue matters so vile. All right, keep going, Isbel. Our venerated guest has brought hope to the elven tribes. By if so, we'll be here a while, yeah. And I'm all for it. So you eliminated the butcher responsible, I presume. You have earned your swagger, my Ooh, swagger? Oh, shit. Keep going. I've no more of your accomplishments to announce. If I didn't know better, I'd think you almost vain. Well, I see no reason to mince words, Godwoken. You're here to die. What? Isbia, whatever's gotten into you. Melodorous it may be, but this is still a court, not a gallows. No, I'm not here to die. Your Majesty, the Godwoken is no ally, but enemy. He would throw your plans in disarray. You have worked so hard. Ox. Must fall to the death bog. Um. Isabel seems to. Ooh, I feel like. No, um. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Question the plan. Has history not taught you that there is always a comeuppance for such vile crimes? I. I am no monster. Isabel, what say you? Justinia turns to Isabel, looking We're gonna get a door fight? Comfort. And Isbale begins to chuckle. Her laugh is low and measured at first. I am so fucked. Magnitude until she can barely breathe. <laughs> well, you're a clever one, aren't you, Godwoken? Fine. I'm tired of pretending I serve this weak wench anyway. But it doesn't matter. You can't stop. Am I about to be a part of a level 20 fight? Isbale? Shut your royal maw, Justinia. Arcs will fall and your memory writ. They will believe it was your will, your plan, your command. Save again. Your plan can never come to pass without Justinia's go ahead. Who would release the death fog? For a moment, Isbel appears almost relaxed. Her eyes flash blue, her face quivers. Isbeal, my queen, forgive me, I, I. Isbeal screams in pain and clutches her. He's under the control of a demon. And sways, muttering indecipherable words under her breath. Yeah, she's under the control of a. Uh -huh. You blink yourself awake to the cold gaze of a thousand stones and the hot gaze of the dwarf Isbel, right hand of the queen. Oh no. Oh good, you're awake. Yeah, first I figured I'd just kill you. But then I thought, Isbel, <laughs> you're wasting an opportunity here. Don't bother thanking me just yet though. I dare say you'll be begging to die before long should i um go I'll back to an autosave toxins just to see how you react and take it from there are the sewers uh too high for me um divinity to our cover map wait right, this these maps are blurry hold on They don't really... I don't really say. How strong a dose can 
even a god woke in handle. How long does it take for one to succumb? Uh, so many questions. What have you done with little Queen Justinia? Your lips open, but no words spill forth. You try to lift your head, but it is no match for gravity. She has paralyzed you. Only your eyes are free to move. Uh-uh, don't fight it. You'll only make things worse. Oh, but I've been so rude. You should know the real me. Oh, it's good to give myself a rest. Those masks can be darned pesky. Roll my eyes. I've got control of them. What's that boy? What are you trying to tell me? Are you hungry? Do you want to play? Did someone fall down a well? Oh, oh you're so precious when you try to talk. You're demeaning me. It's rude. Now, make yourself comfortable. The harder you fight, the harder the experiment will be on you. Oh, that dose proves quite alarming for my normal subject. Let's try a new approach, shall we? Relax. Fighting will only increase the agony. Let's see now. Uh, I have just the thing. Just a spritz, mind you. You struggle to move, and you feel your toes wiggle, and your fingers twitch. The paralysis... Who's a good boy? Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Some of the results are quite unexpected. Now, oh, let's move on to death fog. Live or die, you've already proven... Huh? Um, no! Well, I was going to say useful, but perhaps entertaining is the better word. His bell turns the back. But no fog wafts forth. In that moment, you feel your bones and muscles awaken. You've regained control of your body at last. What? What's wrong with it? God! Come! The God woke is broken free of my spell! Um, yeah, fuck no. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, no, not not ha not happening. Not happening. No, no, nope, nope, nope. Can't fight that. Nope, nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Why do these sewers? <sighs> Why lead me? From a level 18 area so quickly to level 20. What the fuck? I can't fight that. All right, um. No, well, let's head back here. Where the fuck is my... Did I get rid of one of my pyramids? No, there it is. Guess we'll just go <laughs> up this ladder. pan. Nice. That shit out of main. And hot bar. Task bar. Whatever you want to call it. Fuck are we?
I've ended up in some random man's home. Voidwoken, here. And who'll clean up that mess in the garden? My lord, I beg your pardon. I am so sorry. How could I have known? She looks up at you with glassy eyes, wiping her tear-streaked face on one brocade sleeve. A girl's wedding should be the happiest day of her life. What happened? Why are you so miserable at your own wedding party? She looks down at her feet. Seeing her blood-spattered wedding slippers, her face crumples and tears spring from her eyes. I should be so happy. Everybody should be so happy. But we barely made it indoors alive. But not everyone was so lucky. I... I can hardly bear to think of them. Their wives and husbands and children back in the kingdom. Left to grieve alone. Why do I can only appear with sources used? What are you insinuating? We're merchants, not mystics. You should have seen those void monsters. All that blood, all that death, they didn't deserve, we didn't. She buries her head in her hands, sobbing uncontrollably. Um, offer congratulations on the wedding? I, I can't accept them. I know you mean well, but how can I celebrate now? Void woken on my wedding day. <laughs> At least... At least my loving husband is still with me. She turns and waves one timid hand to her husband on the balcony. He offers an apathetic grunt in return. She blinks back tears from her pink-tinged eyes. Please forgive him. He's broken up. It's a lot to take in. We lost so much in the blink of an eye. Bow my head and offer a prayer for her. She gazes dejectedly into her lap, looking more like a recent widow than a blushing bride. It's all right. I can pray enough for the both of us. And I pray that Duna protects the souls lost and mends the broken hearts that remain. Why are you and your husband not taking comfort in each other's arms? My poor love. He needs a moment to himself. And who wouldn't? Today should have been so different. She takes a shuddering breath and idly itches her face. You would expect her cheeks to be ruddy from tears, but they are pale instead, almost translucent, revealing the vessels snaking underneath. You don't look all that healthy. I have been feeling peaky lately. My darling said it was the rosy glow of a woman in love. But now, I think it was a warning, a sign of the massacre to come. The woman cries on. Good to know. Great talking to you. The dwarf stares grimly into space. Rings Taylor? on his fingers, some of which glitter with ornate rose-tinted jewels. You know if you'll excuse me, I'd just as soon be left with my thoughts. I've heard you've had some trouble with Voidwoken. I bet you heard. I bet everyone is talking about this cursed wedding. Perhaps my war horse of an aunt is right. Perhaps this is what I get for debasing myself. Still, what's done is done. The marriage is final. That's the important thing. You don't seem too distraught that your nuptials have turned into a bloodbath. People die all the time. Weddings aren't exempt. Not even my own. Unfortunately, sometimes people survive beyond their usefulness. Congratulations on the marriage, despite your tragic, the, the tragic circumstance. Yes, it's been a horrendous day. Still, it's a fine match. With her assets and my name, I, that is to say, we, will be a force to be reckoned with. He glances over at his distraught bride, as she takes another sip from her goblet. Events like today's do have a way of putting things in perspective. There's much to be gained from this alliance. It survived the Void Woken, after all. Out with the old, in with the new, I suppose. Yet... <laughs> Old man Ross left the incident quite unharmed. You don't seem all that madly in love. Love? Do this beard. Is that what passes for sense among the lower classes? 
And she is quite enamored with me, of course. I can be proud of that. Irresistible. But no. In my family, marriage is a more practical matter. Our union means I can continue my work. Wonder what your work might be. Nobles don't have jobs. Job? Oh, please don't be churlish. I'm no dairy maid desperate for her next meal. I follow my passion. Alchemy. Potions which, at a sip, can heal or kill. Can grant strength, speed, or compliance. Which have the power to transform base metal into gold. He glances across the room, where his betrothed is pouring herself another goblet of wine. Yes, indeed. Our union will definitely be of value. Even with today's rather dark start. How dare you use someone like that? And how dare you judge me for my actions? Yeah. Your actions can be judged. What I do here today survival of my house that's what actions the survival are survival of my work and i would not give a dog's bark for your opinions now leave me be i would choose the void woken over this company the dwarf rubs what the groom looks you over hmm. he turns back to the okay you're a bit of a dick she looks right through A well-dressed dwarf paces swiftly around. Is judging illegal? I know, right? Of trunks. He gives you a cursory glance, worry etched on his face. Yes, thank you for coming. Indeed, it would have been a beautiful ceremony if only. Dark times, dark times indeed. Safe home to you now. He quickly turns away and casts a worried gaze around the room. Counting something on his fingers. Lohar sent me. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't know any. Lohar, you say? The queen is up to no good. Lives could be lost if you do not help me. He peers into your eyes, looking for a sign of honest intent. And, satisfied, his face softens. When the crackdowns and decrees came, I defended her. When she exiled her cousin Marcus, I joined in the applause. But this new plan of hers... I want to believe I do, but death fog? Something's not right. She's tuned me out. Well, she's tuned everyone out. Everyone but that advisor of hers, that is Bale. Her quacking all but drowns us out. Ask about Isbel. Who is she? Where did she come from? Hell if I know. <laughs> A terrible answer, but it's all I've got. But it wasn't long after she started hovering around Justinia that things started to change. Justinia's always been hard, if you know what I mean, but but never heartless. I don't know what her end game is, but I don't want to be anywhere near when it begins. Were you planning to simply flee Ox rather than confront the queen? Did you see my daughter downstairs? Did you see our courtyard? If getting out of Arx makes me a coward, then so be it. I'd sooner take my business to Black Peak Isle than stay here a moment longer. Where is the queen? No, I'll do whatever it takes to talk some sense into Justinia and end her plans. She's old in court in the sewers, if you can believe it. Oh! My wine, so <laughs> pull out a vintage called Lula Bell. It will open the way for you. And take this key. You'll know we got the key now. When the time comes. Is there more you need from me? Trunks and piles of clothes letting in room. Are you packing for a trip? You already know how close the danger is. If it all goes to hell, I don't plan on being anywhere near this place. About the queen. Yes. Where is she? Holding. Is there yeah. more? No, we cannot go back now. No, no, no. Who the? What the fuck? You've come to serve, yes? Excellent. Bring me my slippers. Chop, chop. No one's serving and certainly no pigs. Oh. 
It's always so adorable when the peasants pretend they have lives of their own. Ah, oh, yes. Fuck you, piggy. I'll eat you for breakfast. She looks right through. Oh, can I? I can get around. That's. Something stinks. A statue here. of a trumpet playing dwarf, but something about it smells off. The stone smells of granite and rose water, but beneath the aroma, a familiar smell lingers death fog. And then you see it. The horn of the trumpet connects to a pipe. The pipe disappears into the dirt. The scent of death fog comes from under the ground. It's stuck in. Eh? Uh, can't do anything so there. Much death on such a lovely day. You're a toy. You're alive. And they look hostile. Well, Time this is. Play. Oh. What is happening out here? Haven't we seen enough tragedy today? The cake was filled with dangerous toys. I'm not in charge of health and safety. Wait, toys? He considers the wreckage surrounding the X cake. Understanding dawns. That cake, it came from the doctor with a letter of congratulation. It was truly a magnificent sight. But the wedding was cut short before we could even slice it. Void woken, sabotage, bad cake. You'd think someone had it in for our little lady. Tell me, who is this doctor? Few have seen his face, and no one knows his name. He corresponds only by messenger. The townspeople seldom speak of him, which is strange now that I think of it. He'll open your belly and fill it with jelly. The doctor is, is in. in. The, the doctor, doctor is in. in. He'll rip, rip off your toes, toes and shovel them up your nose. nose. The, the doctor, doctor is in. The doctor is in. in. Heard a kid Lovely the tune. Her mother heard it too and beat the poor tyke's sense. She fucking did what? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, I have to admit. Gotta take your funny? entertainment where you can when you're on duty. Uh, where does the doctor live? It's easiest if I show you. Let me see your map. He shakes his head and whistles as he identifies the doctor's home on your map. If there was ever a house that was haunted, well, that's the one. They say almost no one gets in, and those who do never come out. Perhaps he feeds them cake, hmm? Can't say I blame you. I don't want to appear disloyal, but as dwarfen weddings go, this one had a tad more blood than usual. Huh. 
The happy couple upon this special occasion, though unmatched by the bride's own sweetness, may I offer this confection as a symbol of the sugared desire on which new love glides. May you enjoy each rich bite and the explosive finish soon to follow. But yes, I'm told a certain Isabel has made the guest list. Please ensure she's present when the cake is sliced. She'll surely erupt the boy. Oh. He wants to kill Isabel. He didn't necessarily want to kill the bride and groom. Holy shit, 219? Finesse scoundrel? Nope, not not a better trade off there. Carriage test. Court is convened, the serves are hardly. Chest. I am f overweight. Ah, fucking shit. I didn't mean to store it. Okay. Okay.
to keep the way clear. Planning a quick getaway? Ain't no getaway happening here. And if there is, I am involved. Get it? I get it. Good. Now clear off. You're in the way. Who's in a hurry to leave? Ain't no one going nowhere as far as you're concerned. Now clear off. You're in the way. How do we want to explore this fucking city? A well-dressed dwarf woman lies on the cobbles, giggling drunkenly to herself. Right, she's too well healed to be some homeless drunk. What happened to you? I wish I was bloody huh? homeless. Then I'd be home already. <laughs> no, I was out of where then. Beggars kicked me out. Said I was causing a scene. Uh, you're lucky to have been kicked out. Voidwoken attacked the wedding party. Many of the guests died. Ha! Voidwoken. Good one. <laughs> you're a regular jester. Tell me about the wedding. <laughs> the usual fuss. The groom's a local alchemist marrying the daughter of some big shot merchant. How'd you get into the wedding in the first place? Are you a relative? They'd hardly kick out their own flesh and blood, would they? I barely know any of them. Friends of friends of business acquaintances. Can I take your invitation if you no longer need it? Eh? No. <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, you might feel embarrassed over what happened once you sober up. If you give me your invitation, it'll be one less reminder for you to deal with in the morning. Bloody thing. Now, off with you. I can feel a void walking of a headache coming along. The dwarf's armor looks as if it weighs. Browse the shop as you play. Wedding? You're so late, it's almost. Do I look like I'm going. Oh, please. Stop take and maybe tidy the Oh, oh, didn't see you there. Sorry, it's been um quite a day. You need a hand with anything, let me know. What do you know about the void woken attack? Oh, don't know much. Everyone was out in the garden for the wedding. I was watching the shop and then guards were everywhere, but those beasties just cut through them like butter. Boss said to keep the doors open, but but truth be told, I feel ill just standing here. By Duna, closing can't come fast enough. I'm surprised this door wasn't closed for the wedding. You and me both. Worked for Ross for a decade. I half expected an invitation of my own. But even with half of Ark lying dead in his garden, he still wants the shop open. And again, if I'd been at the wedding... <sighs> the fact that the boss loves counting his pennies is probably the only reason I'm breathing. That said, it doesn't feel right to be orking wares with that next door. Job's the job, though. Can I do leave arcs with naught but empty pockets? I have an invitation to the wedding. The wedding? By Duna. Not sure I am much longer. Oh, of course. You won't find better in all of arcs. I can promise you that. Not bad, eh? Whoa. Bloody boy woken at a wedding. Huh? That ain't a bad omen. How is any of this? Uh, before you go... None of that was useful. You the boss has certain exclusive wares for a few choice customers. Ah. You seem like the type to appreciate such things. Thought you'd be interested. Never hurts to take our mind off these terrible times. Let me see this treasure trove. You'll find we have some interesting specials today. Ah, there we go. Holy fuck nugget. I'm lucky I was posted in. I want that belt. I need that belt. All I did was steer the bride for the size of her nose. Not take care of you. Okay. 
All right. Oh god, I want to fucking rob this place though. <laughs> okay, let's. Perhaps has another purpose. I don't want to sell something that perhaps can be used. Buy things from him. Oh. Oh, didn't see you find Alright. Um I want the wasted wicker. Oh, that would be a nice upgrade tier for the brain. But let's We'll come back around to that item there. I think we're gonna take this. Because of that plus five constitution. And the retribution and plus one leader. And everyone else has belts that are just fine. Alright. There's a potion business going. I can hear voices. Gotta got him. Look, by all means, but do not touch the merchandise. Human skins impure oils may taint even the least delicate of my herbs and tinctures. All right, show me do what you've return, got. Should you find Hunters, it necessary. All righty, you have a top hat. Which is slightly better. That would actually probably serve me better. Ooh. Some are still good. What you looking for? Ooh, I want that amulet. Yes, I do believe I would like that amulet very much so. In. Do return should you find it necessary. That is the perfect kind of um Hunters, I've got the wares you need. Yeah, we don't necessarily need to buy resurrection scrolls right now. Oh, that dropped in price a lot. Oh, 
Hunters, I've got the wares you need. All those broken arrows. You've got your work cut out. Some are still good. What you looking for? I'm not picky. Yeah. As the arrow flies straight. Yeah, we'll sell that too. All right. I've got the wares you need. Two, two, six. You know, I'm just gonna sell her a bunch of shit. I'm just gonna rob her, give her, make her give her, all, give me all her money. Hunters. I've got the wares you need. All those broken arrows. You've got your work cut out. Some are still good. What you looking for? I'm not picky, so long as the arrow flies straight. Okay, uh, how much will this be? 58,451. Mine. 14,139. 44,312 gold. Great to me. 44,312. Boom. Boom. Thank you for the money. Alright, let's take a look here. Twinkle Eye. Constitution and summoning. Yeah, I think we take that. I think we take that. I think that. I think that goes to Ryan. Beers. Yeah, it's not an upgrade for anyone. I've got the wares you need. Oh yes, the town is all it. May the land sustain you and the wild. Let's see what she's got here. All right, she has a chest armor. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> That's a neat chest, but again, our only. Well, I would use that would be Sibyl, and I don't want to lose her wings. So, I don't think... The elf stands in front of a cart displaying various sundries. He warmly motions to you and gives you a broad smile. Don't fret, my friend, and don't falter. You needn't call to Lucian for sucker, for I am here to answer your purchasing prayers on this day of celebration. As I promised, miracles at a modest price. Mm. What do ye got? The collector. Shit. That might be an. Oh shit, we're on the red print. What else do you got though? Um. Alchemist and thievery. That's not. I don't like the stats on that. Don't like the stats on those. 
How are the shields? Shields are meh. The rings are meh. Loronta Temva. Oh sh- I want those pantaloons. I need those pantaloons. And wait, if they give me plus two finesse, that means I'd be able to wear... Where'd it go? Where's the thing that required finesse? Am I blind? Am I stupid? Or possibly both. Oh wait, no, that was the other uh, other uh, sales lady. Hmm. I think I buy those pantaloons. I think I'll buy these pantaloons. You got anything else that's interesting? Yeah, those, those are... Alright. Red print. I welcome you, comers. The elf stands it out. Fret my may the gods watch out. Okay. Tell that and that. Alright, give me... Let's see. So plus three strength. Now, I think the spear is still better. I think the spear is still better. Eh, well, let's take the... Now, I think the sword is better. Trada, what are your thoughts? The sword or the spear? Yeah, but it's like what I'm confused on are what constitute strength attacks though Like are all of my abilities here strength attacks or if when I'm using a spear do all of my warfare attacks then become finesse I don't think so I mean yeah, it's not that much of a physical attack damage difference though that plus three strength might make up for it yeah fuck it we'll go for it we'll take it i want those leggings and then the stats on those gauntlets just i don't like them telekinesis and thievery are not good bonuses for a strength glove What else does he got? Alright, so... Okay. So, yeah, the strength might actually be better. Alright. 21... 251... Minus... 106. Right, oh, 20,245 gold. 20... Thousand two hundred forty-five. All right. Swap. What a pile of junk. It got damaged in the fight. It'll fix up. You're confident. I'll give you that. All right. And part of me wants to give this. Now, this goes to Ryan. God, that is so good. So, so good. I welcome you, comers and natives alike. We shall Our hot bar is completely filled.
All right, next trader. Trader Jemison. Back in business. Thank the gods for Lord Cam, eh? He saw it out there. What do you sell? Fucking jack shit. Absolutely nothing I want. All right, trader non. Giant slayer. May the land sustain you and the wild game feed you, friend. You're confident. I'll give you that. Now, question here is. No, oh, it's only 120. We lose 200. Nature provides. Around 200 physical armor and gain 120 magic. I don't think the stat trade-offs are worth it. Alright, so we trade with her. Got a war merchant thing over here. You, I was over here yet. Now that you're all done, why don't you just skedaddle on out of here? Mm-mm, no. 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 Ah, fuck! You <laughs> should've bought this one! <laughs> you should've bought this one. Fuck. I don't wanna waste the money. We wanna get our value back. No, then I'd have to go through all of the selling again. I'm just the one that app. All right. I think that's where we're going to end it for tonight. Yeah, see, this is how far back we'd be. Not worth. Not worth. Not for a sword that probably will get, you know. Business must be booming for you, all them broke. Um, be kind of outdated, kind of probably pretty fast once we start leveling. We get a level. Um, we're not gonna raid anyone because just two of us. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to eventually when we do reach the end of Divinity Two because obviously, don't think uh, you know. People don't really want to tune into a stream that's like part 24. The problem with these long games, I think. I don't think people really want to quite tune into them. Um, but what sucks about that fact is a lot of the games that I have on my list for PC are long games. <laughs> so... Fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, but Torado, you'll be the one, once we finish Divinity 2, you, of course, if you decide to spend your points, um, you will be the one to decide the next PC game if you decide to spend your point to ruse. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end, I have, I have, depending on which, like, I'll give you, so, like, I'm technically going to give you, like, uh, quite a few options. I'm going to explain it here. But So what I'm going to give you is you can decide whether or not you want me to pick, give you a list of shorter games. Those will probably, I'll probably make that list uh, of games be, like, 40 hours or less, 30 hours or less kind of list. Or, and then... Of course, I'll be like, or would you like to select a longer game? Because obviously it's 100,000, so I wouldn't... I, of course, would not blame you if you set, if you wanted to pick the, you know, long game, right? Totally up to you. I'm just letting you know, like, that, that'll be the selection you get to have. Like, short game, so like 40 hours or less or something. Or, uh, long game, games like Divinity 2. Um, because I do have Pathfinder, Kingmaker, 
Um. Oh, take a look. Uh, you know I have Darkest Dungeon too. However, I don't know if I'm good at that game. Pathfinder Kingmaker, I think, is the longest game on this list. Um, yeah, is the longest game on this list. Um, but then I have a few games here that are, you know, shorter than 40 hours. A couple of games on this list, though, I can't. I don't think I can play on stream quite yet. Like, Kingdom Come Deliverance, I would love to play that on stream. But my computer would not be able to handle it. At least, it, it would be f very framey. We'd probably be lucky to maintain 30 FPS. And I wouldn't even be getting 60 FPS in-game. I'd probably be getting 20 to 30 FPS in-game. Um... But, uh, yeah, I'm rambling here at the end. I will see you not tomorrow night, but Monday night with some, with part 25 of Divinity 2. And, yeah, we'll see if we can, we, these past couple Divinity 2 streams, we have not been making, it doesn't feel like we've been making much progress. Um, but I feel like once we get out of the city here, once we stop talking to people in the city, I have a feeling things might move faster, kind of like how they did for, um... A little bit like Plague Tale. Um... But long... I don't really have games that are actually, like, 12 hours. Like, I think... Let's see if any of these are actually 12-hour games, because I wrote down the hours for them. Um... I do have... The Force Unleashed games listed here. Even though I played the, played both of those earlier on stream, I kind of want to just replay them again on stream. Those are actually the only ones that are like 12 hours or less. Everything else here is around the 30-hour mark, it looks like. Um... Well, actually, no, that's a lie. It looks like I got a couple of free games from the Epic Game Store. I don't know how well those games are. Uh, I got a couple Metro games, Metro Last Light and Metro 2033 Redux. Those are supposedly short games, and I also have Control over there. Um, but, yeah, rambling here at the end, I am going to head off, and I shall see you Monday night with more. Divinity 2. Adios.